Listen, man. You guys out here, everybody, we're all hyped about Caitlin Clark. We're all excited. She's the biggest athlete in America. And it's not even close. LeBron is a distant second. And they salute to LeBron for being that at an age in year 22, I think, or year 21 or 22, whatever year it is. Salute them for still being that. There's no baseball player. There's no hockey player. Individual sports, tennis, golf. There's nobody. College sports, there's nobody. Caitlin Clark is the biggest athlete in America. It's not even close. And the way she's been treated since joining this league has caused a lot of people to defend her, to come to her aid, to come to her rescue. A lot of her fans. And I get that. But just like the the cover of Sports Illustrated, I feel the same way about this. I feel the same way. I'm not upset that she's not on this graphic here. I'm not upset. I'm not upset at all. Um, and the reason is because Overexposure is something that a lot of people are not thinking about. I'm thinking forward. And part of my fandom for Caitlin Clark is my fandom for women's sports. I got a daughter. You know, I want her to be able to. Live in a world where, you know, she can make some money if she wanted to play sports or she could have, uh, you know, a high profile. See, you know, reach her potential playing sports if she so chooses to. Even before that, I was a champion of women's sports, even before I had a daughter. Because it's only right. And Caitlin... Is all they got. And if she gets overexposed. And us as Americans do what we do. We're Americans. You know what we do. We build you up and then we take you down hard. Okay. We we don't just take you down, Jack. I mean, we. Um, do I think the WNBA is doing this on purpose? No, I think this is part of their, you know, everybody, this, this league is about everybody. Everybody's the, the rookie class and yada, yada, yada. I heard somebody say something about Cameron Brink fans the other day. <laughs> and I said, man, I thought it was just that Cameron Brink does not have one fan that she brought into this league. The only people that know that think about Cameron Brink uh, think about how tall and statuesque she looked that night at the. I followed college basketball last year, women's college basketball, and yeah, she was a great player and whatnot, but nobody was going crazy over her as far as I don't think a lot of people knew she looked like this outside of her uniform. I don't think a lot of people knew she looked like this outside of her uniform. Um, as far as like a supermodel. Um, and that's the only thing she got. And she doesn't move the needle. You don't have much with this league still outside of Caitlin. So I understand them trying to build other stars, trying to do what, the, what Angel did 
but see, here's the thing about Angel. As far as they're trying to ride, they're trying to make other players ride on Caitlin's coat. Angel is a master at what she did. She got in early. She hopped on Caitlin's coattail early, okay? <laughs> and it was organic, okay? I don't think Angel thought that this was going to lead to her being linked, inextricably linked to Caitlyn. I don't think she thought that. It all happened organically. Now, with this, the, the bring it full circle back to this WNBA playoff graphic. This was, if Caitlin's on here, she outshines everybody, right? She outshines everybody. And they already know that Caitlin's fans are going to be watching. So they really feel like they don't have to market her to her fans that are going to watch the game. The crowd she brings. So why not try to expose some other players to stardom? Now, I would have liked to have seen Kalia Copper here instead of Brittany Griner because Brittany Griner's, you know, she had that ugly incident with Rakia the other day, and she's, you know, she's not very popular. Americans aren't really – she was very popular coming out of college, but she ruined that with her, her antics with the anthem, everything surrounding the anthem. Um, do I think – do I think that the WNBA is trying to keep Caitlin Clark from being overexposed on purpose? No. But I think unwittingly – this is a good thing because you don't want people getting tired of Caitlin because if they get tired of Caitlin, they've gotten tired of the WNBA. Okay. Caitlin is the WNBA. It, it, it's that simple. Caitlin is the WNBA just the way Michael Jordan was the NBA. It just is what it is. So I, I don't have a problem with this. I don't have a problem with the Sports Illustrated cover. I guarantee you 95% of the searches surrounding the WNBA on social media involve Caitlin Clark or the Indiana Fever. So I can understand them saying, look, man, it don't matter. I mean, let's just try to, you know, expose some of our other players, some of our other stars. And it's not going to work because it has to be organic. But I understand them trying to force it, trying to take a shot. But you got to understand um, that, like Angel, where it has to happen organically. It has to happen organically. Like, hopefully, in these playoffs for the WNBA, man. And let me get to my predictions, man. Let me get to my predictions, man. Um, let me get to my predictions. I got the Knicks over the Hawks. I got the Lynx over the Sun. Links over the Suns. Uh, <laughs> and I got the uh, the Aces over the Super Suns. <laughs> but you know what? This one right here is a little tricky, man. I think the Super Sonics might actually beat the Aces. Let me just switch that. 
that's going to be my just to just, that's going to be my sleeper the, my my upset i'm going to go with the supersonics over the aces and then we got the the pacers versus the <laughs> connecticut sun um I think the the Indiana Pacers, man. <laughs> uh, and I know that people say, "Well, you're you're a fan. You shouldn't say this." I've been honest all year, man, and I'm not gonna stop now. They're not going to get any calls. No calls. First two games in a hostile environment. I wouldn't be surprised if they lose both those games. I'm taking the sun. Because I know that The Connecticut Sun are going to be super physical. The refs are going to let them be super physical. They're better than the, you are. You're taking a team that's better than you. They're going to have better coaching and they're going to have a better whistle. And it's really that simple. The Connecticut Sun are better than the Indiana Fever. They're going to be coached better, and they're going to have a better whistle. I don't see how you overcome that, man. Um, so I'm, I'm, I, I want the Fever to win, but I think the Sun are going to win. I just do. I think the Sun are going to win. And now, if the Fever end up winning, I'm, I'm gonna be ecstatic. I hope they win. But just if you ask me what I think is going to happen in the first round. I think the um, Seattle Supersonics are going to beat the Las Vegas Aces. I think the Connecticut Sun are going to beat the Indiana Pacers. I think the Minnesota Timberwolves are going to beat the Phoenix Suns. And I think the New York Knicks are going to beat the um, <laughs> Atlanta Hawks. <laughs> so uh, in the comment section, man, hit the like button. Peace. I'm out of here.